Deltec Acumen Fuse Schedule Diagnostics. Deltec's Acumen software package offers a wide range of schedule and risk diagnostic tools to help you raise the quality and effectiveness of your project data. In this video, we will take a brief look at the Acumen Fuse tool and walk through the process of analyzing a schedule from the Primavera P6 system. The analysis featured in this video will be based upon the Schedule Quality Assessment option. Other analysis, such as the DCMA 14-point assessment, is also available by changing to different option tabs at the bottom of the Acumen Diagnostic window. The Acumen Projects tab. The first step in the Schedule Diagnostics process is to open the project that you wish to analyze in the Project tab of the Acumen interface. As you can see, there are a number of systems that you can bring project data in from. These include Microsoft Project, Oracle Primavera, Excel Spreadsheets, Deltex Open Plan and Cobra Tools, also Phoenix Project Manager, a standard UNCFACT XML file, and Saffron. When you first open Deltec Acumen, the projects list on the left contains an empty workbook. The first step is to load a project into this workbook. To do this, we click on the desired external data system, in this case, Oracle Primavera. In the Add Primavera P6 file dialog, select your .xer or .xml file that contains your P6 schedule. Also note that if you click on the lower part of the Product button, Acumen will provide you with a comprehensive list of all the formats and loading possibilities for the particular external data you are importing. Having imported your Primavera file, you will see it listed below the workbook header. However, this is just the first step. To perform any analysis on this project, you will need to now import it properly into Acumen. An import is performed using the Import All Projects button located in the Import section of the Projects ribbon. With your project name checked in the workbook, click on the Import All Projects button. Again, if you click on the lower half of this button, you will see there are two import options. Import All Projects, for when you've loaded more than one project into the workbook, or Import Project. In this example, we have just one project, so Acumen will only offer the Import All Projects option. After a brief process execution, the imported project's details appear in the Table and Gantt Chart area of the Projects tab. Now would be a good time to go to the Acumen menu and save your workbook. Having saved your workbook, you can drill down through the various elements of your project to verify the data. You are now ready to perform a diagnostic process on your schedule. The next step is to click on the Diagnostics tab to access the Acumen Fuse Diagnostic view. Once you open the Diagnostic tab, you see a timeline and a ribbon analyzer. You also see a prompt to click Fuse to calculate metrics and display ribbon. Go to the Analyze Tool group and click on the Fuse button. After a few moments, the analysis is completed and you will see the project score in the Ribbon Analyzer along with a detailed table of scores set out across the project timeline. In the top right, you can see the overall score for the project. In this example, the project has scored a fairly reasonable 79%. Acumen considers this a high score for the project. We can also see a summary of how that score was derived in the other cells to the left in the Ribbon Analyzer. Let's talk about some of those scores and what they mean. Note that you can hover your cursor over the field headers to get more information about the score. Missing logic. One activity. 2% of the overall activities is missing either a predecessor or a successor. This is the start milestone in P6 that has no predecessor. The passing grade for this condition is 
logic density. 2.9 indicates the average number of relationships per activity in this sample schedule. In theory, the ideal number for this should be two or more links. Critical. This metric tells us there are 32 critical activities in the project, so just over 50% of the project activities are critical. The important point here being the fact that we have a critical path. Hard constraints. The project contains no hard constraints. Most guidelines discourage the use of hard constraints. Negative float. The number of activities with a negative float value. Again, we have a zero in this project example, which is optimum. Baseline projects, such as our example, should never contain negative float. Insufficient detail. Our sample project has two activities that are considered long duration. That is, activities that are 10% of the project's overall duration or greater. If these are level of effort activities or long lead procurement items, this may be acceptable. Our project, however, has barely passed this metric. Number of lags. Our sample project has five activities with lags on them, which are given a score of 8%. This is well below the 25% guideline. That said, lags should be used conservatively in any schedule, as they can affect the critical path and, like constraints, be used to achieve dates that are not otherwise feasible. In other words, use lags with care. Number of leads. Leads, or negative lags, in our sample schedule equal zero. Guidelines typically discourage the use of negative lags, and in fact some contracts outlaw them completely. Merge hotspots. Areas of the project where there are a high number of predecessors on an activity. Our project is showing six merge hotspots, giving us a medium to high score on this metric. In the timeline area is a table showing how the scores break out across the time phase periods. Due to the length of this project, it's showing them in years. This helps you analyze which areas of the project display some of the issues summarized in the ribbon analyzer. Finally, we can create a report showing the score for the project in a comprehensive spreadsheet. To do this, we go to the Publish button at the far end of the ribbon. When we click on the Publish button, we see options to publish to various media, including an executive briefing in Microsoft Word, a Microsoft Excel report, a Fuse Analyst report, a Fuse Summary Metric report, and even a Deltek Winsight Analytics report. For this example, we will select the Fuse Analyst report. When we run this report, Deltek writes the information to an Excel spreadsheet. This multi-tab report allows you to examine your project in great detail and look for areas or identify specific activities that need attention.